In this video, I'll show you how to host your own files on a Linode server using a Docker container, which has an instance of OwnCloud inside of it. First, I'll navigate to and log in to the Linode website. I want to click the Create button to create a new Linode. I'll want to pick Ubuntu as the OS. It doesn't matter what region it's hosted in, and I can choose the $5 option because that's the cheapest. I'll also need to set up a password for the Linode, which I'll use when I log in to the running server. I have a few different Linodes running, but right now I'll click on the one I just created. Once the blue bar fills up, the server is running and I can SSH into it. I click on the networking tab and I copy the command for SSH. I'm on a Mac so I can enter that command directly. But if you're on a Windows machine, you'll have to use an application called PuTTY, which you can download separately. Once I fire off the command, the server asks for my password, which is the same password that I entered when I set up the Linode. Once inside of the Linode, I can type ls to see the files in the current directory. I can type cd dot dot to go to the root directory. In the root directory, I can see all the normal directories that you'd see on any fresh Ubuntu machine. Now I do a web search for install docker on Linode and find an article that I often use, which has a list of commands that will direct me on how to install docker on my Linode. I first enter the command to update the package list on the machine. This next step is not necessary, but it removes past installed versions of docker that might already exist on the server. Some of these steps take a long time, so I'm fast forwarding through them now. Next, I need to install some packages that Docker might depend on. Next, I add a security key to verify Docker's authenticity. Finally, I'm ready to update the package list one last time and install Docker. I'm gonna skip the next step of adding a Docker user and continue running as root but it's a good idea to add a Docker user as it improves the security of the server. Now I run a test Docker container called Hello World, which will print out a message to the console and verify that Docker was installed properly. I then start and enable Docker. With Docker installed, I can now easily run Docker containers. I do a Google search for the own cloud Docker container. Note that this image is depreciated, so you might want to consider using an updated one, but I'm going to stick with this one for the purposes of this video. I only need one command in order to run this container, which I'll build now. The command that I just entered is included in the video description below. Since Docker does not have a local copy of this container, it smartly downloads it from a repository that it has in the cloud. Once the container finishes downloading, I can type docker ps to verify that it was indeed started. Now all I have to do is go back to the Linode website, get the IP of this Linode server, and visit it in a web browser in order to see that OwnCloud has started. I'm prompted with a page that invites me to finish setup. The first time anyone clicks this, they're allowed to configure the default password and accounts for this own cloud image. Once you do that though, the only way to log in will be to log in with the accounts that you've created. Now I'll briefly mention that if you want to avoid typing in an IP address every time you want to visit your own cloud instance, you can register a domain with a provider like Hover for about $15 a year. Once you've registered a domain, you can forward that domain to the IP address of the server and then typing in a domain name like sandtrainstation.com will forward you to the server that you've just created. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please post your comments below.